University Buckeyes meet on the diamond in a midweek battle here on Big Ten Plus. Hi, everybody. Defensive outlook. And Harold, he, they're going to want him to have a big start as well. Obviously, you want to save some arms as you can. We certainly enjoyed a few. Archer pops it up. Henry Kazmar trotting onto the turf. Field in the overshift to the right. Cork to short. Kazmar is right there. The vacant left side. Harold throws. Newman takes ball four. First base runner today for the Falcons. Uncon play. One, two. Swing and a foul tip into the glove of Gravelin. Chase Harrell retires three of four home games ago, a walk-off homer against Purdue. He swings and tags it. Deep left center. Archer back on the track, makes the grab as he... Jack Krause in right. Henry Kazmar flips it into center. Archer banana curving back towards the edge of the turf and makes... High inning totals today before another game against Purdue Fort Wayne, and he gets Matthew Gravelin swinging near the hands. Purcell, the next two starters to be ready. Swing and a miss on three and two. Harrell's got a strikeout and a strut. It's two and two on Tackets. Bounding ball in front of second over the outstretched arms of Kazmar, and Tackets has the first. The one and two. Reached at and poked to the mound. Harrell goes to second for one. Relay over the first, not in time. Grown talent, because not many people are going to choose him. Towering fly ball into shallow left. Trey Lipsy puts it away. Of working against Ohio State last year, comes out one, two, three this year. First pitch swinging from Tyler Pedarini, the junior third baseman, pops it up to the third. Handers on the mound, of course, when a right hander, just another lefty in that lineup, basically. Absolutely, which is a benefit in both departments. And Joseph lashed, foul ground, third base side. McKenzie going out and Roki. John A. Logan Community College transfer will have to wait on a swing. Here's a throw down to second. The tag not in time. Joseph Mershon. Mershon the runner on second. Jamarusti swings and laces it to left. Banshoff is there, and he puts it away while in prep. Here's a first pitch swinging pop-up behind home plate. Matthew Gravelin has room and makes the catch to be top 10 in both. On the ground to second. Mershon to first. So it almost feels easier to field on turf. You kind of just get used to it. Dirt sometimes if it's not line actually. 0-2, in the air to center. Stevenson started in, goes back, and makes the grab. In March, once Ohio State came home. There's a chop to second. Ross handles and throws out what Bill Mosiello calls his premier center field abilities. And he takes a walk. He is aboard to set up. The stolen base last inning, but... Showing some different strengths, and by that time, just launches it right over. Went to the slide step, caroms to the back. Comes the payoff pitch. Swung on and launched. Right field and deep. Had a one hop against the fence, and Ohio State strikes first. Stevenson scores here. And I talked about it earlier on this half. Henry Kazmar, 0 for 1, will have to wait. Lipsy breaks for third. The tag by Roki. The non conference baseball, all of the above. Kazmar swings and floats it into right center. That'll sink in for a base hit. It's cut off by Archer, but Kazmar digs into second with a stand-up. Looking to tack on more. Ramos seeking to get out of it. Walks Graveling. Hitting on the 2-1 home. Swung on, roped at a right center field. That'll hit in the alleyway to score Kazmar. Graveling's getting the wave. Very aggressive base running team. Mentioned four from the conference. Joseph Mershon now from the left side. Swings and punches it into left. And it's caught by Banjoff to end the inning. One. The 3 2. Popped up. Right side of the infield. Mershon is there. One down. The payoff. Up high. And there's a one out walk. Glancing off of first. The 1 2. Swing and a topper popped up in front of second. Joseph Mershon shot. 
now making his fifth start. Banshoff goes, Gravelin's throw to second, the tag by Mershon in time. First of the season for Oakley. So he just takes off the plate for a leadoff walk, led the team last year. In Bounding ball to short, high hop played by Seidel, the turn throw to first. Of his stolen base earlier this season, or should I say this game. Well, Jamarusti took off, but Thomas gets the hit by pitch, and he was fired up. Stevenson, he yanks it into right. That falls in for a hit. Not number one tonight. There we go. We can look back on that play right away. Plays hard of the base pass. Stevenson goes again, and Penrod misses. Base is loaded with two outs, and Henry Kaz. One of this one, a lot of the pitchers for Bowling Green. Kazmar tags it the other way into left. Diving catch by Banjo. Kazmar just lines it the other way, just serves it out there, and Banjo saving potentially three runs and coming around to the score. To end the inning. It's flipped into right field. Oakley curving over, makes the catch. You just need that reset and a chance to re envision yourself. Oh, a spinner re trickles Evan in his last three outings. Here he comes. Hot shot into center, Stevenson charges and makes a jumping catch. Bell's 0-1, gravel and skies it, shallow center. Pedrini cranks it to right. Krause will tumble and make the catch. Ground ball through the right side, Joseph Mershon tallies his first base knock. He'll put on the break. Hot shot to first. Forehand stop by Tackett's. Takes it to the bag. He posted a perfect 1,000 fielding percentage last year. And that one just tied him up. Nathan Archer goes down on strikes. Logan Jones. There's a fly ball to center. Stevenson ranges over. Patrolling in center. Cheer for BG. 3-2. Fastball just off the outside. Ball four, and Newman's got his second walk in the night. Just Kraus takes ball four. Fifth walk ushered by Ohio State pitching today. Time for Newman and Kraus. The 3 2. Curve ball left high. Bases load. Here, Jones throws, and there's a long drive. Deep left center, Lipsy turns and watches it fly. Slam for the freshman, T.J. Tackett. How's that for your first college long ball? Bowling Green in the driver's seat now. Tyler Ross spanks it to second, and it's caught by Joseph Mershon to end the inning. It's two hits, three left. Jamaristi shows bunt. Pushes it to the right of the mound. Bell gloves, throws, got him at first. Aesop cut that fable back in the day. There's a swing and a miss from Thomas. Logan Bell fans him. First of replacement. He nubs one into short left field. Out goes Seidel and he second. And he will have no throw as he run. Bell fires. Swung on and missed. A fired up Logan Bell strikes out Lipsy. Rolled through the left side and into left field. Landon Roki on the hot corner at third has made some nice plays. Total. 0 2. Swung on and missed. Jacob Morin with K number 18. Roki goes. It's swung on and missed. Jacob Morin with an 3-2. Swung on and missed. Bowling Green continues to pump the heat. Tackets in the sixth. Goes up high and he climbs the ladder. Does Jacob Turner by way of the K. Chopper over the mound by Pedrini. And the throw gets away. Pedrini will. Well, the game on the line, the pitch on the way, and there's a bloop shot to short, gloved by Seidel, inning over. Can that count back up, really? Forcing the Ohio State pitchers to work up that pitch count, and it works out right there. And there's the first hit in BG's top half of the order. DJ, the 3-1. Crossed up Gravelin, and there's a ball for Leighton Banjoff, the left fielder lead. 
two on. Chopper, Kazmar, leaping grab, throw to first, one gone. With one swing of the bat, do you consider intentionally yep. walking him? That's what they're going to do. Yep. Not only does you get that hot batter out of there. Number five, this is Tyler Ross, the 0-1. He butts it to Brown, he backhands, he throws the tag by Gravelin. Free to Landon Roki. Fly ball, right field. Near the line, Oakley's there, he is Houdini. Mitchell Oakley leads things off, flies it down the left field line, sneaks fair into the corner. Mitchell Oakley races to second, a lead off run, second and a no out jam. Jamarusti hits it in the air to left. Banjoff is there, pulls it to interference on a pitch that hit his elbow. In the dirt, scoops past McKenzie, and in the third, head first in play, because that could escape you out of this inning, and that's exactly what's going to happen. When baseball becomes chess, Richard pinch runner on first. Ground ball to first. They go to second for one. The turn throw is not in time. That's best case scenario there for a ground ball. Walk off home run, two weekends back. Runner goes, Lipsy hits it in the air to deep left center field. This ball is gone! He's done it again! Wow. And with one swing of the bat, gives the Buckeyes a 6-4 lead. A hot shot eats up the second baseman, Ross. Henry Kazmar. It's 3-1. Gravelin bangs it off the third baseman, Roki. It skirts into left. And on the ground to second, Ross throws to first, inning is over. But the script hitter, and the first pitch for Matt Kern is a chopper, snagged by Pedrini, guns it to first, the new in the Mid-American Conference in batting average. And that is why he rolls it between first and second and has his first base knock of the game. 24 career stolen bases on first. Roller to second, Mershon bobbles, falls, and has no first and second. Go ahead, run at the dish. Newman tags it the other way and a right. Oakley has it hang up for him, and the bucket closer deals. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. One the eighth, and leave the go ahead run at the plate to win game number 14. At the top of the Big Ten. And partner, I mean, what a game that was on both sides.